Hello and greetings from the IPL2. Today I'd like to share with you some of the free tools you can use to get started making your own digital stories, and some of the pros and cons with each one. We'll be looking at three different video making programs, Animoto, Photo Story 3, and Windows Live Movie Maker. Animoto is made to be extremely user friendly, allowing you to produce nice looking slideshow like videos with minimal hassle and little room for error. In just a few minutes, you can throw some pictures, text, and music together, and Animoto will make a good looking video. Some things to keep in mind about Animoto are that the free version limits your options somewhat, only allowing your video to run 30 seconds and taking some of the more advanced options away. Here's a brief clip of the finished video. Next, there's Microsoft's Photo Story 3, which can be downloaded for free through Microsoft's website. I'll put links in the video description. Photo 3 is a nice middle ground between the complexities of Windows Live Movie Maker and the simplicity of Animoto. A nice feature in Photo Story 3 is the ability to record narration as you go by clicking on the record button on each slide. With a few easy steps, a user can easily import photos into a timeline, add some text, add narration over each individual slide, and add background music to the entire project. Each step is made simple with clear instructions telling you what to do, and even inspecting your pictures and asking if you'd like them displayed in certain ways, such as zooming in on vertical photos so there's no black spaces on the sides. It even contains some simple photo editing techniques such as fixing red eye or rotating your photos. In Sanobe, Japan, this clip is similar to the one from Animoto, but made using Photo Story 3. It allows you to narrate over the slides while still allowing you to put in background music. As you can see, it offers various transitions and panning options as well. The company decided to break into the video game market. One of its earlier titles, Radar Scope, was a big failure. And Miyamoto was asked... Last, we have Windows Live Movie Maker. Microsoft's free movie editing program is by far the most robust and technical program of these presented here, and at least as of the publishing of the program initially, it is the only free editing suite to offer HD video output on Windows. Of course, with the wide range of features Live Movie Maker offers, it sacrifices some ease of use. But if you're willing to learn some of the tools and options the program makes available, you're given a lot more freedom to make exactly the kind of digital story that you're envisioning. The program allows you to drag and drop video, pictures, and audio onto a timeline on the right-hand side of the screen and instantly preview what the results will look like with a preview window on the left-hand side. It offers a suite of tools to do things like trim clips, change duration of pictures shown in the video, transitions, credits, and other effects. The downside to all the freedom that you're given is that it takes a lot more time to learn how to use it all, especially when compared to Animoto and Photo Story 3. On top of that, there's very little in the way of useful getting started instructions provided in the help menu. Prepare to spend some time searching online for some tutorials or watching some getting started videos on YouTube. The best way to learn how to use the program is to just play around. Throw some pictures, audio, and video into the timeline and just see what you can do with it. Between these three free programs, you can decide on the right program for you that balances ease of use with tool complexity. With tools such as these and the many others available for free online, Anybody can create digital stories that can be shared with family, friends, or the world. Good luck!